Joe doesn't agree with his wife. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, Joe. How you doing? Hi, wife. Hi. <laughs> What's your name, ma'am? Laura. Laura. Okay, good. Joe, what is it? Well, basically, we're expecting our first child. Oh, we find out the sex. To thank you very much. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> We found out the sex of the baby, but my wife heard of these reveal parties. Not sure if you're aware of them. Yeah. I'm not, don't really like them. I think they're overkill in this era of oversharing. I said, if you try to do it, I'm going to call everybody up first to stop it. <laughs> and then I basically said, so I wanted my question to you is, do you think this is ridiculous or should I give in? <laughs> okay. Sh she wants to have a... Reveal party. Reveal, oh, where, where they reveal right. the sex of the baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's, I mean... You're going to do what? I was going to call everybody up first to just uh, say basically it was useless to try to have this party. I was going to call everybody we know up and tell them the sex beforehand. How nice You're of him. You're really that stupid? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I try to dry along the sand, Steve. <laughs> hey, man, whoa, 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 whoa. Why would you not let that happen? There's just so many parties. You have a baby shower. You have all these other things. It just seems like you're doing another one of those and... I don't want people to think that you're trying to get gifts or... See, you've never had a child, so you don't, obviously don't know how this works. <laughs> Someone who loves her is going to throw her a baby shower because you have to get all these gifts because raising a newborn baby is ungodly expensive. And people who have had babies before are going to think a little neat stuff to give you that you can't think of because you've never had a baby before. That's one. Number two, you ain't carrying the baby. So... <laughs> If she wants to have a reveal the sex party, I think that you as her husband should support that wholeheartedly. See, we have nothing to do. <laughs> we're gonna do. We, we ain't no, we, ain't, we got nothing. Our, our stomach ain't stretching. We're not carrying the weight. We're not feeling the kicking. All we're gonna do every now and then, gotta go get some ice cream, some pickles or something like that. <laughs> That's it, man. We ain't got nothing to do. In a minute, she's gonna be laying on the table. And... <laughs> All hell is going to break loose. <laughs> now, what you don't know is after you have this glorious moment of holding this bundle of joy, then in your life, all hell is going to break loose. Because <laughs> you now got to figure out everything. Why is he crying now? Why is she crying now? What they want now? Mm -hmm. You just woke up two hours ago. Why is your ass up again? <laughs> what do you want now? I burped you. I done already changed you. I done fed you. <laughs> what are you crying for now? How much of these damn diapers going to keep costing? How many times you going to soil these diapers? No, I had twins, man. I changed their diapers, man, five, six times a day. So what I used to do when my wife left me at home with them by themselves, I ain't put no divers on them. I cut back. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I spread newspaper. <laughs> Thought I'd save money. <laughs> Guess what? They don't stay on the damn newspaper. <laughs> so... Instead of buying diapers, I was buying a new damn rug, new carpet. Okay, back to the diapers. I thought everything, man. Congratulations, though. Thank Enjoy you your much. baby. Hope you have a healthy baby. Thank you very much.